Hidden Brook is absolutely one of Vallejo's most desirable neighborhoods and one of Solano County's most prestigious. Today we're going to discuss everything you need to know, including home styles, price points, amenities, as well as taxes and HOA fees that you absolutely need to know if you're considering a move to Hidden Brook. Let's get started. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Erica Monroe. I'm a realtor in the Bay Area and I specialize in Solano County. Hidden Brook is a gorgeous master plan community located right off of I-80, nestled in its own valley and surrounded by the rolling hills of Vallejo. This community consists of about 1,200 houses, many of which back to the world-class Arnold Palmer Design Golf Course. If you haven't caught on yet, Solano County loves its golf courses and it sure makes for incredible scenery. Most of these houses were constructed between the early 2000s and 2010 and typically feature stucco exteriors, tile roofs, many back to the green or have beautiful views of the rolling hills. There are a handful of different subdivisions and home styles within Hidden Brook, including the villas, which features single family homes located on shared lots with common driveways. There are larger single family homes on their own more expansive lots. The villages features a gated community and there are large custom homes on more expansive lots ranging from a third of an acre plus. Houses located on these shared courts with common driveways tend to be on the more affordable side of Hiddenbrook. This beautiful listing, for example, features over 2,200 square feet of living space. It has an open concept kitchen to family room, features beautiful updated hardwood floors, a bedroom and a full bathroom downstairs. Upstairs, you'll find three additional bedrooms and the house has a very modest, low maintenance backyard. Single family homes on their own private lots typically begin around 750,000 up to north of a million dollars. They generally feature three to five bedrooms, three to four bathrooms, anywhere from 2,400 square feet up to about 3,600 square feet. The highest price house is currently listed at 940,000. And though it's a cosmetic fixer, oh my gosh, the views are stunning. Just take a look. This is from the main bedroom window. Can you imagine waking up to the scenery every day? This house features a larger lot, about a quarter acre. It fronts to beautiful rolling hills and then backs to the green. So you have the most privacy possible without having your own acreage. Hidden Brooks resort-like amenities definitely set it apart from any other development in Vallejo. There's an outdoor swimming pool and spa. There's an indoor fitness center, a tennis court, banquet hall. Of course, you've got the beautiful golf course. And there's even a little shopping center, which features a market deli. There's a personal training studio, a sushi restaurant, and my favorite, Michael Waring. Michael Waring is an incredible fine dining restaurant, absolutely on par with San Francisco and Napa Fine Dining, just without the price point or the commute. And it's really an experience to dine there. It's a quaint restaurant, so everybody has a front seat to the open kitchen where you can watch Michael meticulously plate each course. He and Allie work together seamlessly to plate, serve, and offer incredible hospitality. If you can't tell, I'm a huge fan. The menu's constantly changing, just dependent on what's available at the market. Even if you're not looking to move to Hidden Brook, I definitely encourage you to try it. It's the gem of Vallejo and absolutely hands down the best restaurant I've experienced in Solano County. All other amenities can be found within a 10 to 15 minute drive. You do have to hop onto I-80, but freeway access is right there and you typically only have to go an exit or two to get to where you need to be. Hiddenbrook is assigned to the Vallejo Unified School District. You can get to most schools within 10 to 12 minutes. You've got Costco, Safeway, Home Depot, the ferry terminal, which will take you to San Francisco, all within a 10 to 15 minute drive. If you head further east towards Cordelia and Green Valley, you can find a Trader Joe's as well as Safeway and Rayleigh's. Moving on to taxes and HOA fees, if you are shopping towards the top end of your budget, you definitely wanna share this information with your lender because they'll have to factor these fees into your monthly payment. The HOA fee is actually very reasonable, currently hovers around $85 a year, so that works out to be about $7 a month, and that helps to cover 
the welcome center when you first enter the community, as well as a security guard. Depending on what subdivision you're in, you may have an additional monthly fee. The Fairway Villas, for example, have about a $120 monthly fee on top of the yearly 85 HOA. The gated community, the villages, also have an HOA of about $130 a month, again, on top of the yearly $85 fee. Taxes tend to be on the higher side. Hiddenbrook is located in a Mellow Roos district, which a majority of East Vallejo is as well but Hiddenbrook also has other special assessment taxes that can equate to a hefty sum. So again, make sure your lender checks this information to ensure that the price point you're shopping at is still affordable in this community. It's important to note that the golf membership is not included in your HOA fees. You'll have to contact the golf pro to find out what the current memberships are. Just remember it's a public course. So if you just like to dabble in golf or you go here and there, there's definitely options for you as well. For an updated list of all available listings in Hiddenbrook, or if you'd like to schedule a private showing, please feel free to reach out to me at monroe.erica at gmail.com.